but I'm so excited because Sarah's got a new signature range out called So Country. Now, it's a little bit different this time because when, we're, when we've had the ranges before, we've had the sewing side of it and the paper craft that merge together. But this time, we thought we'd do it solely on the sewing side. So I've got everything around me here. I've got some fab samples to show you, but these are absolutely gorgeous. They're really good. So there's lots of different elements of the fabric, which I'll go through shortly for you. So that's the fabric. And then, new dies, new dies. Now these are a bit like our, well, these smaller versions of our Hawaiian dies, if you remember those, when we had those out. Um, so again, I'll flip on over first so you can see that lovely rose gold colour. So we've got three of those. Wait till you see the sample on that one. And then the other thing is got, which we do bring a lot with our ranges, is the zips on a roll. And I think these are one of the greatest assets you've got in your haberdashery because you get so much on there. I'll take one of them out soon because I'm going to demo how to put a zip in as well. So if you're worried about zips, don't be worried anymore because I'm going to show you. And then also, if I bring in these, we've got the matching threads. And these are always made to complement the fabric with the colours. And it's absolutely, it's a lovely thread, lovely to top stitching with as well. So we're going to be using that when we put the zip in. And I mean, I'm going to thread a machine live, so that's going to be, uh, going to be good. And then the last thing we've got in the range is, now you might recognise this, is the Gladstone clasp. So we've brought a bag range before. This is a different size. It's a, it's, I won't say handbag size, the other one was a handbag size. Depends how much you want to put in your handbag. <laughs> I won't show you my handbag because I've got so much and you can never find anything. Um, but this has got the full pattern everything in. So again, I'm going to open this up later on and have a look at it. Are we ready? Are we ready? I bet you're all dying to see it. Look! How cute is that? Pull it open. <gasps> so there, I mean, that is a, a really good size. So although it seems... The clasp is smaller than the other one, but when, when it opens out, so it's like a big like mouth opening, isn't it? That you've got all that space in there. And now the thing I was thinking, knitting straight away, I thought of knitting. So you can put balls of wool in there, so you can put your little sewn accessories in there. Oh, hang on. You can put six half metres of fabric in there. Let's want to see how much we can get in here. Can we get our charm packs in? Yeah. And we can even get, because I've unrolled it, we can get our fabric strips in. Is it going to close? There we go, just. So that's got, oh, it's quite heavy that now. So that is amazing. And this is made with the rose bucket and the cream. What have I got here? <gasps> Look at this. New sewing box. In the rose bucket, the cream is not fab. And... I've got all my stuff in already. So I've sort of claimed this one. But yeah, but look at it. So this is great. This is ideal. You always need somewhere to keep all your stuff. And if you're like me, you've got a lot of stuff. So I have a bag, I have a bag for my, at home. I have a, a caddy for my classes. I have one for here. I have one when I go to TV. So this is just going to add to my arsenal. And then what you've got on here, so you've got your little bit here, so your little elastic here to get there that you can keep. I've got my little scissors in there. And you've got your little pin cushion or your needles or your safety pins like we had in that in that fabric roll and then you've got a top tray in here so in your top tray you've got all little compartments in here so you can get lots of items in there so all the way and this i love that you've got those two little holes in the center because sometimes we when we daft nails on now trying to get hold of this to get it out but here you've got two little sort of oval holes in there that just lifts that straight out. And then if I open up, you can see, oh, my favourite, stick and spray. <laughs> I've got my, my favourite, Kalal Textile Glue. Oh, and there's my scissors, what we were looking for. And I've got rotary cutters, more rotary cutters. And I still had loads of room in there as well. So this is also going to be in the, in the range. Isn't it fab? So let's go back to the fabric. 
<clears throat> so this I absolutely adore it it's beautiful fabric now there's a I was saying there's a lot of different ranges that it's coming in so the first one is it's coming on the bolt so you can buy it by the half meter so if you want to buy say two meters you're making some curtains or three meters or whatever you'll get that cut in a continuous length so I'm going to show you this first one here I'm going to open them out and then I'll fold them all neatly before I leave because these have to these go back on the shelf you see to go down for when we have the show so if I haven't got them closed Lizzie will be uh, sending us a message <laughs> if I haven't got them folded neatly so this one is the dark grey rose bouquet so it is it's uh, when I first looked at it I, I don't see the colours first I see sort of the items first and I thought it was it's, it's like a very it's a muted colour so sometimes black can be quite stark and harsh but this is it's the dark grey and it's beautiful so that's the dark grey and then so you look folding them up nice and neat we've got the rose bouquet in the cream i just think that cushion just it, it's just crying out for a cushion isn't it that one it's beautiful and you've got all the rose in there you've got the gypsophilia and you've got the foliage and you've got the big sort of the rose bouquet there but then you've got this like little individual one here you see the little individual one? Isn't that cute? The little rosebuds. So the detail on here is is really, really second to none. It is fantastic. But say so it's just you just know when you feel when you feel good fabric. And then we have the leaf sprigs. So if I get this the right way around, so I don't want to give you show you it upside down. So this is the green. But it has like a, a dark green, well, a very dark green background, the dark, then a mid green and a light green. But then there's like a little white diamond in between, which is quite nice. That just sets it off. So this is quite good as a filler fabric as well, if you want that little ditzy print. Or you can go for it and use it as a bold, as your bold statement and have a, a white, in the, a plain white. So if you manage to get our shape cutters that we had on Create and Craft yesterday, you could cut these out in diamonds. You've got the mini diamonds that's going to accentuate it. And then a white one next to a patterned one and they'll really pop. So that's the one in the green. And then we've also got that one in the pink. This is really pretty. Look at this one. We've got this one upside down yet. So again with this one. So you've got the, there's a darker pink background. And then what you may not be able to pick up on the camera is you've got a little one in here that's not just pink that's another leaf sprig in there and then you've got the cream and then you've got that white one as well so that's really really good and i said they all go so well together and i've got a lovely cushion to show you shortly that you can see where they've got all the fabrics on there to show them all off so this one's gypsophilia so if you don't know what gypsophilia is you know if you get a bunch of flowers and you've got that little white like sprig ferny thing in it as I can else how else to describe it <laughs> but that's gypsophilia um and it's often used to fill out sort of bouquets of flowers um but this one here so this one's the dark gray but you've got it's like a oh it's like an like an orangey ready pinky color in there that blends in perfectly with the ones in the main in the main one so that's in the dark gray and then we've got the gypsophilia again, that little white spriggy stuff in the green. And that's beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's a lovely, it's a lovely, rich, lovely, rich green. Like I said, they all go so well together. So they're the half metre pieces. Uh, sorry, half metre off the bolt that you can get. And then also we've got a pack of half metres. So in here so what happens sometimes is if you you want them sort of half of each or you only if you only want so many you can pick from that off the board but if you want them that pack off you're getting them for a gift for someone as well or with these half meter you've got six half meters each you've got three meters of fabric i mean you've got a good amount there for a quilt top i don't know what half a dozen cushions front and back um so you can make an awful lot out of three meters of fabric and then if you do have some plates, because I know some people like to put, if you're making a cushion, they like a plane on the back. Or if you're making like a bag lining, have the planer on the outside or for leather or, you know, something like that. And then have this as your 
as you open your bag and it pops the colour out. So they're the six, so it's each of the ones we've just seen, but there's six half metres in there. And we've, there's more, there's more. And then we've got a charm pack. Now normally, when we bring our charm pack, they're five inch pieces. This time we've gone slightly bigger, we've gone six inch pieces. So I'm going to open them. So these, so in here, you're getting all of the designs that we've gone through. And there's 36 pieces in there, so you're getting six pieces of each. I promise. It's like playing Snap, isn't it? We're going to get a different one. <laughs> but yeah, so you're going to get six pieces of each in there um, of all of the different range. So that's a good one as well if you, you know, if you, you just want a little piece of each one. And like I say, pop them with your block fabrics, your plain fabrics, your faux leather, your cork. I've got a lovely sample to show you that we've made, uh, one of the teams made a bag with our cork fabric and this and it goes perfectly so say they're six inch squares and you're getting 36 in that pack so that's the charm pack and then oh my favorite fabric strips now in here i'm going i'm not even going to undo the button should i do it should i undo the ribbon or should i just open it yeah i'm going to open it I bet none of you are saying, no, don't open it, keep it pretty. Because I do have one at home um, of a different fabric from a while ago, and I still look at it and just give it a little, you know, fluff it up like that, but I don't open it. But this, this one isn't mine, so, well, it is now because I'm opening it. <laughs> so in here, this is our now in here you've got 18 strips, and they cut a two and a half inch wide so that's great if you're doing your your bindings your borders um your session between your scripts bag handles you know you're getting say all of the three of each so you've got 18 in total and then if i show you the width of these so this is cut from the ball to the fabric so if you've ever had a fabric strip you'll see you've got your cell edges on each side there so that is the whole file so i'm going to go out of shop but this is that's the whole width of your fabric. So that's your 110 centimetres wide. And all this is 100% cotton, machine washer 30 degrees, uh, medium iron. And then I just want to show you the cushion that we've got. So this one here is made by Angela. And it, it's massive. But what, it's, what she's done is she's took all of those fabric strips and sewn them all together all the way down and what you may not be able to pick up on the camera is she's just top stitched very close to the edge on all of there using the threads that we've got i'm going to show you them soon and then just that accent piece in the middle just open to just to show that rose bouquet which is the main fabric that's our fabric done so now let's have a look at those dies that we've got so there's three dies in the action and i'll just go through them in order and I've memorized the names but I've just mixed them up <laughs> so I'm oh, sorry Johnny I'll be getting wrong off Johnny now for moving it right so we've got this one here so this is fancy foliage okay and then if I turn it round you can see so there's the dinette so if you can see there it's a quarter of a die so I'm just I'm going to show you when um, I show you the sample of how it laid out but it's actually the front there you fold your fabric into four say so if you had our Hawaiian dyes before, you'll know it's the same process as that. And it's still um, the same method to do these. But these fit in all of your Geminis, so even the Go. So whichever Gemini you've got, these will fit in. So that's the first one. And then the second one here, this is the Floral Flourish. So you can see there, we've got the flowers there. And again, if I turn it to the back, you can see the dye there. And then the last one we've got is the lovely leaves and they all in conjunction with to blend in with the fabrics as well so keeping that flower and foliage same for that so i'm going to get the sample so we've got a gorgeous table runner let me grab it so and on the back we've got the pink leaf sprigs on the back and who's sally's made this so this is gorgeous sally and how we're going to, we're going to be able to see all of that there we go Shall I move it a lot? Oh, you can see. <laughs> so now I have to match them up. So this one, 
Hang on, let me get the die. So if I hold that back next to it there, you can see there that that's the floral flourish. And again, if I turn it over, so if I take that, you can see how the flowers there and then you'd fold it into four and then what happens is on these dies here this edge here doesn't have a cutting edge and that's what forms this centerpiece here so it keeps it all together so that's that one and then the next one is this one here oh, I do like this one I, I love sort of like it's like the Celtic sort of theme isn't it so this one's the lovely leaves so you can see that, so it's obviously it's not actual size on the packaging, it's bigger, but sometimes that happens and you, you can get a, a bit misled, but we always put on there, so on the front here it says not actual size, so it doesn't mislead anyone. And you've also got the instructions on the back here as well, so you, doesn't, they're really simple to do, but as I say, fold the fabric into quarters, position the die, da, 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 and you, you know, it's, you're following it through. And then on this one, because we've got that centerpiece there, so on here, there is a cutting edge here that cuts that centerpiece out, but then there isn't a cutting edge on the two sides, which is where, wherever you've folded your fabric, you see where that doesn't actually um, cut, so you can get the continuous piece. So that's that one, and then if I move along a little bit and get the last one, so the last one's the fancy foliage, so that's this one here, and then again, so this is like the first one where you've got that centre. If I flip it over, you can see that there's no cutting edge on that corner. So once you've folded your fabric, you get this all continuous piece in here. So the next thing we've got is we've got these zips on a roll and we've got the threads. <clears throat> so with these, I'm going to take one out of the box. I can never get them out without ripping them. So you've got 10 metres of two colours. So we've got this pink, and I'm just going to get the fabric over just so you can see how well these actually match. So if I get the rose bouquet here, and then we've got this, it's like a dusky pink, it's lush. Can we see there how well that goes, and it's picking up the pinks in the roses as well? And then this one, we've got the dark grey. So now you get, say you get 10 metres, no, sorry, 5 metres on each one, so 10 metres in total, but you get 10 of the sliders on each one. So overall, you're getting how you can make 20 zips with all of these. Um, now, I'm not sure what price these are yet, because obviously this is just a preview, but if you're wanting to go and buy just sort of an 8 or 9 inch zip from, from anywhere, you know, you can pay a couple of pounds, 150 a couple of pounds, just for one. But here you're getting 20 and you can choose any length you want as well. And these are interchangeable as well. So you can take these zip pulls off and put them onto the other zip. So if you wanted two-tone, so that's a good, um, a good one to know as well. So they're the two zips that you've got. And then we've got, I oh, love these, matching threads. So these are a lovely thread. I mean, you can see just when you look at them and it, the, there's a sheen on there. Oh, you actually, you can really pick that up where the light's shining on there. The sheen is lovely. So these, I wouldn't use them for your piecing unless it was already on your machine and you're doing something quick. But if you keep them, use them for your top stitching. If you've got um, decorative stitches on your machine as well, they would look absolutely amazing in this because you get that coating. And again, you've got the pink, you've got the darker pink, you've got the two greens. And if I bring that leaf sprig fabric in, let me pull that in there so you can see how well they actually go together on there. And then you've got the dark grey and you've got the cream as well. Oh, put that one there. So this one here, so I'm not sure where I'm going to go up. So I'm going to do a reveal of what it is. So it looks like a, like a clutch bag, doesn't it? Like a big clutch bag. But once we open it up, it's a sewn roll, sewn kit. So we've got zips in here. So we've got the pink one in this side. Oh, I've caught it down there, there we go. And then we've got a clear, is there so you can actually see what you've got in there. And then you've got a zip on the other side. The input, so your rotary cutters in, your scissors, uh, your tape measures, your threads. And that's really good to have the zips because sometimes if you've got something that doesn't have a zip, so when you pick it up, everything can fall out. Um, 
And then we've got little felt patches in the centre here for your pins and your needles and your safety pins. So that's that one. And then, do you remember I mentioned the cork fabric before? So we've got this bag here, which Anne's made. I mean, look, look at this. So it's like a, like a duffel bag, like a half a sack sort of thing, where you've got your straps on the back. And that's been done in that green leaf sprig. And then we've got our cork fabric here. And then with the accent of the cream rose bouquet. But then we've got the zip in set here. And it just goes perfectly. The colours just all go together. Let's see what's, what lining have we got. So, and then we have the leaf sprig of the lining. So that's good when you're making things to, you know, complement the colours. So we've got the lining here that's matching the handles. So everything matches. So it doesn't mean to say you have to do it all one colour. And then we've got the strap that she's put on there in the main rose bucket. And then the lining, the lining in that as well. It's fab, isn't it? 